Hello traders, welcome to the ProPinearBots YouTube channel. In last video, I showed how to develop a stake list. In this video, I am going to show how to use a stake list instead of Martingale Factor. So first, I am going to derive options website. You can find the link in the video description. If you don't have an account, you can open a free account here. I am logging to binary bot platform by clicking here. Now I am in binary bot platform. But you can develop this bot in deeper platform also. For easy demonstration, I am using binary bot. First, I will reset this bot. Then I will load the last developed bot. This is the bot we developed in last video. You can watch this how to use stack list video to develop this code block until this stage. So today I'm going to show how to use this stake list when we are losing. That means instead of martingale, we are using a stake list. Okay, now I'm going to binary after purchase. Result is win. Then I'm going to logic. I'm taking this if code block and connect it to fourth code block. If result is loss i will take this change code block and connect it here if result is lost we want to change the trade count by one then i will create else block and i will go to this advanced variable and take this set and change this to trade count and go to map and take this code block and connect here and connect it to here for the initial trade we want this trade count so i will go to variable take this set and connect it here i will change it to set trade count to one for the initial trade we want the first stake in this list so i am setting it like this now our flow is we set the stake list and we set the trade count to 1 then what comes here after that in list in this list get number trade count is 1 then this bot takes this first item as the stake here then it comes to second third and it comes to fourth if trade count equal length of stake list trade count is 1 the stake list is uh, 5 so this condition is not happening then what's happening is if result is loss this will change the trade count by 1 uh, assume that if we lost the first trade then our trade count is 2 then trade again then what comes here again then our trade count number is 2 then this power block taking the second item from this stake list so let's test this bot okay we can see that when trade is losing the bot is taking the trade list here So there is another thing we need to change that is we need to set this trade count to 1. If result is win, we want to set this trade count to 1. When the trade count is 0, there is no value to take here. So we have to set it to 1. Let's clear this log and run this bot again.
Okay, we can see that this stake list is working as martingale here. When result is lost, it goes to next thread. And when our result is win, it goes back to initial stake and placing trades. You can download this bot by clicking this save button here. I'm downloading it as stake list martingale bot. You can upload this code block to this dbot platform and use there also. I will upload this bot to this derive options bot platform. I'm going to derive options then binary bots. Okay, I will log into my seller account here. I'm going to sell a page. And I'll add this bot here. Since this is not a full trading bot, I will select other as category. Then I will select this is not a full binary bot, so I'm selecting it as product type is as other. I will type title. At least Martin Gelba. As you, I can type anything here. I will just add it for one dollar. When one wants to download this, you can download this for one dollar, or else you can develop by your since every code blocks are in our video. Then for files, I will upload this stake list martin gale bot which we develop now i will set license expression to unlimited and i will create this variation i will add the thumbnail image here i will add product image here I will add this video link here later. To take the payments, I will add my paper link here. And I will add this product link in video description. You can download this code block. And that's it about for this comment. And thank you very much for watching.